I think it's pretty fair to say that Japanese people are some of the best dressed people in the world. Their style is so effortless, so clean, one that I take inspiration from and one that you should also be taking inspiration from. A particular style that is native to Japan and one that I've been increasingly enjoying is the city boy style. I think there's lots that you and I can take from this style and apply to our own outfits. The term city boy was coined by Popeyes magazine. It's a look that reinterprets elements of American prep, French slash British workwear, traditional outdoor clothing, US collegiate style, casual sportswear, skater culture, and hints of Scandinavian minimalism with distinctly Japanese silhouettes. Now that we have an overview of what city boy style is, I did some research and I wanted to strip it back to a few elements that you could utilize to fully immerse yourself in the style or simply to take bits and pieces that you can incorporate into your own aesthetic. So here are a few elements worth noting if you want to adopt that city boy lifestyle. Lifestyle? Just style. Layering is the hallmark of city boy style. It allows for versatility, interest, as well as depth to your outfit. So how would you incorporate this layering aspect in a city boy aesthetic? Well, here are a few things. You probably want to pair an oversized t-shirt or shirt or a lightweight jacket. Then throw on a hoodie under a tailored coat or mix different textures like a cotton shirt with a nylon windbreaker. The things to keep think about here and the key elements are usually a lot of the city boy style is very much oversized silhouettes. And especially during the autumn winter time, you can see a lot more examples of that layering. But in the summertime, things are still stripped back with just one base layer, but they always keep to that oversized element. We touched upon this in the last point, so this is a great segue into this next one, which is making sure that your outfits are oversized and laid back, which is one of the crucial elements of the City Boy style. And how you'd incorporate that is ensuring that you have more laid back, relaxed silhouette trousers or t-shirts. Everything is more oversized and just comfortable to wear on a day-to-day -day basis. With the City Boy style, you just want to avoid skinny or tight silhouettes because that's not really the aesthetic of the City Boy style. In my opinion, I think that main differentiation between the City Boy style and what you normally get in the West is we tend to go with more fitted t-shirts. As you can see, I'm wearing a fitted t-shirt right now. Whereas City Boy style, they don't tend to go with fitted t-shirts or any other fitted garments. Everything is always very flowy, relaxed to allow for breathability and just comfort. Everything here is pretty simple. So even the color palette is very simple. You will want to just stick to muted earthy tones. That's not to say that you can't utilize pops of color here and there. And I think that pops of color are utilized as points. So if you're wearing an all black outfit and then you put on a blue cap, the blue cap is the point. Or if you're wearing an all black outfit and then you have orange socks on, the orange socks are the point. If you've ever gone onto the Instagram profile of someone that embodies the city boy aesthetic or ever seen it on Pinterest or somewhere else online, one of the things that they really pride themselves on is functional outwear. So the outwear is really important for them, especially when you're in Japan where it does probably rain a lot and it does get cold. Having that functional outwear will be important and similarly here for the UK or maybe wherever else you live in the world. It needs to be practical as well as stylish. If you go onto the profiles, you'll see that a lot of the time they are wearing a lot of outwear. Even though it's very muted and minimalistic, they invest in quality pieces and making sure that they function to a high standard to enable them to be weather appropriate. Yes, City Boy style is clean and minimalistic, but they still like to add interest to their outfits through graphic t-shirts and small logos. By adding a touch of interest to your outfits through a graphic tee or some boldness creates a little bit more interest and is also a great nod to street culture. So the things that you want to avoid when it comes to the graphic tees and logos on your t-shirt is obviously anything that's really too out there and flashy and just in your face. If you look at City Boy type brands like Beams, Double Taps, Uniform Bridge, uh, Wacko Maria, all of those brands do have graphic tees within their collections. They still fit in with that muted aesthetic that can still fit in with that City Boy style. 
For me, I think footwear is a real crucial part of the city boy style because what I see and what I have seen with people that, you know, dress themselves in this particular way is that they really want style as well as comfort. So anytime that I'm looking for some kind of sneaker recommendations or, you know, just looking for any sneakers to cop in the future, I always go to someone that has that city boy style because they wear a lot of sneakers. I think the important thing to bear in mind is comfort and also versatility. Are these pairs of footwear going to fit in with the aesthetic that you have with those baggy trousers and that baggy t-shirt and that laid back silhouette that you're going for? Not just sneakers are important, but you know, sometimes loafers or boat shoes or anything like Clark's Originals work really well with that city boy style. Anything that could be classified as preppy that sits outside of the sneaker bracket will work really well with the city boy style. I can see that accessories are really important for them as well. And not the typical accessory that you would always think of or that would come straight to mind. Well, for me in particular, jewelry would definitely come to mind as the main accessory. But with the city boy style, the accessories that they really hold in high regard is not jewelry. It's things like caps, beanies, bags and sunglasses so if you want to improve your accessory game with the city boy style in mind then make sure you focus on those areas i've never been to japan but i can imagine just even from the pictures and what from what i've been told everything is so specific so neat the attention to detail is always there that's why i think some of the they're some of the best people some of the best people? Oh, I'm sure they are some of the best people. But some of the best dressed people in the world is the attention to detail because all of their clothes fit them so well. So you want to make sure that your trousers fit well around the waist. They break nicely on the shoes, whether you're going for a half break or a full break. Even though we're going with oversized silhouettes, we don't want them to look silly. Still make it look stylish still make it look like it fits in to the aesthetic and fits on your body well and always pay attention to the details. You also want to have some vintage and thrifted pieces in your wardrobe as well when you're thinking about this style because given that the style is derived from you know the classic Americana collegiate style British slash French workwear pieces which can be old and outdated it can be difficult to find those everyday pieces in everyday stores. So looking around these vintage sites will also give your outfits a little bit more character, interest, as well as history, which I think is important that the garments have a history to them. These pieces will help to just add some authenticity as well as uniqueness to your outfits. This is probably one of the most important points about City Boy Style, and it is mixing streetwear culture with the timeless aesthetic. The essence of the City Boy Style rather than blending the streetwear staples with the timeless classic. You know, you've probably seen it before. It's things like pairing tailored trousers with loafers and then a hoodie, which some of you probably already do, but that is just the cornerstone and the essence of the city boy style. It's just having that baggy oversized silhouette, pleated trousers or smart pair of trousers with some loafers, a t-shirt, and then a hoodie on top. So you incorporate the layering, the oversized nature, as well as, you know, the classic elements and streetwear all of that incorporated in there and you've got yourself a sweet city boy style if you've been watching this channel or you've watched channels that are similar to mine you probably already have some of the city boy elements within your wardrobe and it's just a case of trialing it out testing it to see if that works for you or fully committing to the city boy style that said I think inspiration is the cornerstone of fashion. So get inspired by other people and people that you can follow and absorb their content, especially on Instagram. People like Ryusuke Imazeki, Ware Suzu, Ryo Takashima, Sayatoyo Ware, Ken Archive, I'm Gaux, Sleepy Boy ZZZ. Put these up all up on the screen i'll link them below in the description box as well as link to some brands that embody the city boy style i'll see you in the next one